Hi, my name is Haley Nelson. I'm a research associate at Iowa State University. And this is Mark Gleason, a professor at Iowa State University. Uh, we are working on a perimeter trap crop plot. We have muskmelon in the center and squash as our trap crop on the perimeter. So the goal of this project is to utilize the trap crop on the outside to trap cucumber beetles, which are a pest of our center crop, muskmelons. They spread bacterial wilt, which is a disease uh, that causes the melons to wilt. Um, and so an objective is um, hopefully the trap crop will uh, minimize the amount of in insecticide sprays that you have to do uh, by keeping the beetles on that trap crop on the perimeter um, and then also reducing the amount of bacterial wilt that gets spread in your main crop as well from those cucumber beetles. What really drives this, I mean you've got two crops in here so it's a, it's a, a little more management than if you just were growing one but the, the real driver here is to try to reduce the amount of insecticide use and that is to use the perimeter as a way to sort of, like Haley said, sort of catch the, the uh, cucumber beetle. So you only have to spray, hopefully, only have to spray the uh, perimeter, which is a small fraction of the field. And the rest of the field, the, the main crop, in our case, muskmelon, um, would, it would basically require a lot less sprays than it normally would. And these days when we have a lot of problems with um, insecticides being restricted, such as the neonicotinoids that are very important in cucurbit, uh, conventional cucurbit production. Uh, we actually ran this trial without neonicotinoid insecticides, uh, so we wanted to uh, prepare or, or maybe look ahead to the situation where they might be regulated out of uh, cucurbits or may not be as available to growers in the future. So this is uh, uh, adding that, that level of challenge to the situation. We did have a little cutworm problem earlier in the season on the squash, and I think that's directly attributable to the fact that they went into the ground with no imidacloprid in them. So this is a, a trying, to, trying to look at a future without neonicotinoid insecticides and hopefully taking the whole dependency or the, 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 the level of the number of insecticide sprays down by using this sort of uh, attraction, attract and kill strategy as the entomologist would say. 